Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn about how to give IV metoprolol push. IV metoprolol that is metoprolol tartrate. It is also known as Lopressor. It belongs to a drug class beta blocker. That means it blocks beta 1 adrenergic receptors. Now what is adrenergic receptors? Adrenergic receptors, they are parts of sympathetic nervous system which helps with fight and flight response. These receptors, they are proteins and they are found on the surface of the cells and this respond to epinephrine and norepinephrine. Adrenergic receptors are divided into alpha and beta. Alpha can be alpha 1 and alpha 2 and beta can be beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. Now beta 1 receptors are mainly found in heart. It is also found in kidneys. Beta 2 receptors helps with smooth muscle relaxation mainly found in lungs and beta 3 in fat cells. So when beta 1 cells are stimulated, it increases the heart rate, it increases the contractility, it increases cardiac output and blood pressure. So beta blockers or metoprolol, it blocks beta 1 adrenergic receptors and in higher doses, it can block beta 2. So when beta 1 receptors are blocked, it decreases the heart rate, decreases the contractility, decreases cardiac output and blood pressure. So metoprolol is used as an antihypertensive, angina, MI and also in treatment of tachyarrhythmias. What are the side effects you will monitor for? Since it decreases the heart rate, low heart rate, blood pressure and remember in higher doses it blocks beta 2 receptors and beta 2 receptors in the lungs helps with smooth muscle relaxation and bronchodilation. And when beta 2 are blocked, it can also lead to bronchoconstriction. So it is used in caution in patients with asthma and COPD. Now let's see how to give IV metoprolol push. IV metoprolol comes in a concentration 5 mg in 5 ml. That is 1 is to 1 concentration. And you have to give 5 mg IV push over 2 minutes. That means 2.5 mg over 1 minute. Repeat this total of 3 doses. That means repeat the dose 5 mg every 5 minutes to a maximum of 15 mg over 15 minutes. And before giving each dose, you have to monitor the heart rate, blood pressure and EKG because of its immediate onset of action. You can push the medicine undiluted. If needed, it can be diluted with NS. And once the medication is pushed, you have to flush with NS and that flush should also be administered at the same rate. That means 5 ml of IV push over 2 minutes so that the medication that is remaining in the extension tube is also given at the correct rate. So today we learned about how to give IV metoprolol push and thanks for watching my video.